In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a ton of WordPress websites. But not only that, I'm also going to show you a lead finding tool that you see here in the background that's going to show you leads that you can reach out to to sell those WordPress websites to. Not only that, it's also going to generate reports that is going to find vulnerabilities in WordPress websites that you can fix with a plugin that's included as well, uh, which is a security plugin. Uh, this product allows you to create websites very easily. You can sell it to clients. You can use it for yourself to rank websites in different uh, niches, etc. So I think the best thing to do is to just show you how it works. Uh, and in case you're interested, make sure to check out the link in the description where you can find all the information plus my extras as well. All right, let's dive into this and let me show you how it works. So right now I'm logged into the lead finding tool and it works really simple. You simply search for uh, whatever you want to search. So in this case, let's say we want to search for a dentist here and in the location Orlando. Then I click on find leads and now it's going to search for leads. It's going to uh, search in the Google database for those leads. It's going to take about 20 seconds. So I'll be right back. And there you go. Here we have the leads that have been generated. Now, as you can see, these are 20 leads with all the information here uh, on each row uh, that you can use. You can visit the websites here. You can check out the websites if you like to. And at the right side here, you can also see if websites are WordPress related or not. So if they're not WordPress, you can reach out to them and say, hey, um, we can, have, we can uh, offer you a website service where you can have your own websites, which you can edit yourself very easily, etc. Or you can reach out to WordPress clients. In this case, when you click on this add to list here, you can add them to your clients list. So you can create new folders in here uh, or you can add them to existing folders. So in this case, I'm having dentist. I'm going to submit this. And now this lead has been added to my dentist folder. And if I like to have more leads, I simply click on this button. And it's going to show me more leads and I can go down the list. I can check out these websites. I can contact these websites. And then once I've added them to my leads, I go to my hot leads in here where I can find my leads. So let me go there. And actually it's still loading. So let me go back here quickly. There we go. So that was not a smart move uh, to press that low button first. So make sure you don't do that if you want to switch to another tab here. Um, anyhow, here you can see the leads that have been saved. So, um, you can select here on status here. So approached, closed, dead. So you can set each lead here. Let's say this is a fresh lead, but if you have approached them, you can select this. Now, another thing that you can do here is when you scroll to the right side here to action, it says generate reports. And from here you can generate reports that will look like this. That's going to show the vulnerabilities in their website. So here you can see a brute force login attempt can be made on your site or the WP content folder exists. So you can send this report to a client. So let's say this is the client that we want to reach out to. We can say approached here and we're going to click on send email. And from here we can send an email. Now you can choose from the list of templates. There are pre done templates already. Uh, you can also write your own template. So when I click on Tim here, this is the template that I can use and it already has a message in here. So you can add your own messages or you can take one of the templates. What I wanted to say is it has one downside, which says, here, pixelarmor.io and then uploads and then the PDF. So when you click on this, uh, it will open the PDF. However, the customer will see this link. So you can also delete this link. Uh, you can send it yourself as well, but you can fill out the, the email address here. So in this case, let's say I'm going to do my email address and then I can send subject and I can say, for example, here, security. And then I can send a copy to myself as well if I like to. And then I'm going to click send email and then this email will be sent. So this way you will be able to manage your leads like approach. And if they reached out, you can say, hey, this deal is closed or uh, this lead is dead. You can change the settings in here. And this way you will be able to find leads and to reach out to those leads as well. Now then... Within the email templates here, you can change the email templates. You can write the templates yourself, or you can save them while you're writing them. 
And this is basically how you can find clients. Now, what I want to check is if you can also find clients in other countries. So let me check that. So let's say this is in my country. So let's say, yeah, it looks like it also supports other countries, as you can see here. So I can click on find leads and then it's going to find leads in my country. So this is worldwide. And there you go. Uh, you can see this is a list of uh, Dutch dentists, as you can see here. This is all Dutch show. You can see a lot of more WordPress sites here. Uh, so yeah, you can basically use this for any uh, country here. Oh, here it says language. So you can change the language as well. You can even search within a specific range. So that's cool as well. So if you say, I want to have five kilometers uh, within Orlando or whatever, open now, yes or no. So it has some advanced features in here as well. Didn't notice that when I reviewed the tool. Now within the download section here, you will have all the tools that you need to uh, create those websites. So you have your Moto AI team, your security plugin, your backup plugin, um, everything that you need is in here that you can download and install, plus your license key at the top. And how that will look like is like this. So once you logged in to your Moto AI, basically it's a theme, a website creation tool. It will look like this. Now, this comes with a ton of done for you websites. So for example, here, if you want to check out one of them here, let me preview this one. Your websites will look like this. Let me open a few actually so that you can see it. You can basically download these and install this directly to clients' websites as well. So let me check this one so that you can see a few. So this is one here. This is one of the websites. You can simply download this and install this directly to clients' websites. You can import that. It will be shown how you can do that. But this is one. Here's another one here for a gym. Uh, and here's another one, a skate shop. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can create this from scratch within uh, the, the tool itself. So here it says create from scratch. And when I click on plus, I can choose what kind of website I like to create. Now, as you can see here, there's a ton of different uh, categories that you can choose from or no, it's not even a category. But let's say we want to do a florist here. You type florist, you click on continue. And it's going to grab the information to create your website. So first you do your website name, uh, florist and an angel, uh, florist angel here. And then you can upload your logo. So let's do that here. Let me see flower. Have this and then I can say, okay, use this image. So this is my logo now. I can set my contact, my phone number here. I can set my location, my way, one, two, three. You can fill out your social info and you simply click on continue. And from here, it will ask you what kind of features you would like to have on your website. So that's the next step or services here. So you can select the pre-done for you services, flower delivery, flower arrangement, wedding floral. And if you like to have another one, you simply click this or you can add a new service if you like to. But let's say we want to use those three. Uh, then what you can do is you can generate a theme already or you can customize it even further by continue editing. And from the next step, you will be able to select the elements that you like to have on your website. So you simply wait a few seconds and then it will show you the next step. And of course, this depends on the speed of your WordPress. Uh, but here you can choose whatever you like. So you can open these elements in here and you could choose whatever you like. So let's say you want to have this header design. You simply select that one. What kind of banner would you like to have? Let's say we want to have this banner, you choose this banner uh, about us. So you could basically go over all these steps here, how you would like to have your website designed, the call to actions, if you like to have something like this, the testimonials, let's say we want to have a single one here. So here you have the different designs, as you can see, for those testimonials. And that's for each thing here. So the blog design, if you like to have it like this, you simply select one, the contact, if you want to have a contact like this, or maybe like this, you simply select this, the footer design, simply click, 
pick one of those. And here you can change the order as well. So let's say you want to have the, the blog here or above the testimonial. You can change this stuff in here and then you can click on generate theme. And now it's going to generate the website for you. And it already has the information as you can see. So when I click on preview, it's going to show you the website. So here you go. This is the website here that has been created for you. Their services, as you can see here. So basically it's super easy. The client reviews and then the latest blogs. In this case, this does not match. I already reached out to them. I said, hey guys, somehow I'm getting the same kind of blogs on my website. So I already reached out and told them that they need to fix this part. Uh, get in touch here. Uh, and then your logo. Now, this is a pretty big logo. just took a flower here, but you get the ID, right? And basically, this is a WordPress website that you can install. Now, how does that work? Really easy. You go to Modo AI again here in the left menu. And from here, you go to your themes. And what this will do here is it's showing you all the themes that you have created. So in this case, this floor is what I can do here as I can preview this, but I can download this to my computer. And now I can upload this to my client's websites where I have installed the uh, Moto AI plugin, which allows you to import this website to your client's website as well. So that's how you can create websites. You can take those templates or you can generate it like this. Uh, and then the next thing here is you also have some extra things. So you have some content generation tools in here as well. Image generation tools so you can create content in here. So let's say I want to do a florist, uh, florist Florida and click on generate. Then it will generate the content for you, a piece of content that you can use here. So this is a content generation tool. You could, of course, also use ChatGPT to write this text for you. But from what I understand, this also uh, yeah, uh, helps you in SEO services. Maybe they done some extra work to hide this from, um, how do you say that, that, this, that it's not being recognized as content created by AI. You have an image generator. Basically, this will find images for you. So let's say you do a florist here. You can search for images and it will show you all the images. And this is what you also will have on your customer's website where you can find these images quickly so that you can use them on their websites as well. A video generator here where you can search for videos. So let's say florist as well. Let's submit this and it will show you the videos that you can add to your website as well. A tag generator in here where you can create tags. And that is that part. Now, one part that I didn't show you, which I honestly wanted to show you first, is this part, which is Pixel Armor, which allows you to secure websites as well. So this comes with an IP blocker. You basically install this tool to your client's websites. Uh, it has some options in here, like a country blocker here, where you can limit countries to visit your websites, redirect URLs to those countries, uh, firewalls. Here you can enable this firewall. You can hide the login, which I always recommend you to do if you have a WordPress website, so you can create a custom login, uh, HTTPS hardening, uh, spam protection. You have all these options in here, reCAPTCHA for your website. Uh, outdated items on your website that needs to be updated, change directory. So all these things uh, are included with this Pixel Armor that you can install to clients' websites as well. And that is basically what Pixel Armor is all about, creating websites very easily uh, with this tool. It is WordPress-based, so... You can only use this on WordPress websites. And uh, yeah, again, if you're interested, make sure to check out the link below. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please hit a thumbs up if this video was useful for you. And uh, yeah, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel if you haven't done yet. I do a lot of product reviews similar to this one. So uh, hit that notification bell to get notified. And uh, for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Talk soon. Cheers.